Well, hello everyone, and here with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review. And this time it is on the Borat call sets from 2003. Okay. So, here's the two that I have the booklets for. Is on the front of which is the picture of the set in action, and the name with the shield as the symbol, and also the logos and the set number in there. And on the back, all the other Borat calls and all the Kranas with them. And then a little synopsis of the storyline of that. Also at the beginning is one rising up. And somewhere in here if I can find it. How to put it back in the canister and hang it upside down. Really cool from back then. And then there's how you can combine them into a, one of the Kaita sets. So, I'm going to start things off with one of the two that I have Levacal, or Call. So now, a little thing with all these Borat calls is with a trend that they did over time is where it was the same thing but just different colors, different masks, different weapons, and things. And also, they have modified kind of slightly from the original Borat versions. Is that the colors is like all around eh, on both the body and limbs and have more silver to them. So they. So the Borat calls, which do come with a lot of these, like, hand connectors, but in silver. Which is good for mocking if you're to make an all-silver character. But also, the Borat calls, which were the first ones to use the uh, light gray uh, uh, technique. Three, three long rods and five long rods, which they ended up using all the time over the years. And other than that, the functions are all quite the same. Like that, and also the opening of the Kranas. But however, you can see that through it being opaque and uh, and colored and printed. And of course, each one's printing does have is quite different. Um, if compared to a 2002 Barack, is that the colors all, are all over and are all silver instead of black and also silver feet instead of regular colored feet. And as for this one in particular, is it does have a much better claw that they also used on the Puku satin later in this year and and are perfectly symmetric unlike with the regular one. And that's about it. Okay. And now to the Yokohama Gala call. Also the same, but all in blue and also different face print of which matching the shields. And of course, these ones they have often used a lot since. And that's for. And of course, the main feature of both them and the regular bull rocks is. Fold the legs in. And fold the arms in like that. And then there you go. And then there. And you roll around. Like so. And now on to the final verdict on these two ends. So my overall verdict on these two, or on these sets is, oh, which kind of cool for the time, got a lot of silver pieces that you can use in mock making and things, and also at least some different counterparts to your collection of the bull rocks and things. And if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, 
I hope you had some good memories of them, and if you still have access to them, I'd say go ahead and get them. Like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.